Do you wish that there was a simple guide that compared all the specs of every different model of iPhone ever made? Well, there is, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about it. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now, if you're in the market for an iPhone, whether a brand new or a used one, and you wish that there was one simple comparison chart that let you know all of the different features of every model, you're in luck because that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. Let's jump in and take a look right now. And here it is, my iPhone buyer's guide. So yes, at the very top here, we can click on this one and this is my iPhone comparison chart. So if we click in here, yes, this is every single model of iPhone that has ever been made and all of the specs that you're gonna need to make your buying decision. Now this guide is available to download or view for free at studiolivetoday.com slash iPhone. And as you can see, we've got a heap of information. Every single model of iPhone ever released is listed down the left-hand side. And we've got a complete guide showing all of the different specifications that we have in each model. So let's jump in now and take a look at what we have. Now, because Studio Live today is all about music creation, this first section is gonna show you which iOS versions and GarageBand versions can be used by each different device. And I've put this handy gray box around all of the devices that will run iOS 13 and therefore the latest version of GarageBand because that's a pretty good indication that those are gonna be good devices to create and record music. The next section here shows 3D Touch, so which iPhones support the 3D Touch feature and which have facial recognition, meaning that you can unlock your iPhone with your face as opposed to your fingerprint or a passcode. The next column here I know is important to a lot of folks, and that is the headphone jack. So everything up to the iPhone SE does have a headphone jack from the iPhone 7 right up to the iPhone 11, we have no headphone jack. So if a headphone jack is important to you and your production process, then consider that when choosing your iPhone. The next two columns here are our processor and our RAM or our memory. Now, if these don't mean much to you, don't worry, but I've added them due to popular demand because a lot of folks wanted to know what exact processor and how much memory each phone had. So more is better is the basic rule here. And these will influence how many different apps you can run at once, how fast your apps will run and how many plugins you can use on your recordings when you're recording using your iPhone. The next two columns are the minimum and maximum storage space of each device. Now, my recommendations are at least 32 gigabytes, if you can, 64 gigabytes of storage space. The reason being that once you start recording music, not only will your music files take up a lot of space, but your applications, your plugins, and all the other things that you want to install as well on your iPhone are going to take up space. So if your budget can stretch, go for 64, 128, or even 256 gigabytes, and you'll be able to create great music without worrying about your storage space. Next up, we have the price range. Now this is in US dollars and this is just for our new devices. So you can see everything from the iPhone 7 up to the iPhone 11 has its price here. And the two numbers here are the minimum and maximum storage sizes of each of these devices. So if you're looking to buy a new iPhone, you can check these. And I will try to keep these updated, although Apple do change their prices regularly. So check back if you wanna make sure you have the latest numbers. The next column here is for an eBay link. Now, eventually this will have an eBay link for every different model, but don't worry if you want to go into eBay and search for a model of an iPhone, if you're looking for a secondhand or used model, go back to the buyer's guide. There is a link on that page. And last but absolutely not least are the model numbers. Now, this is gonna help you identify exactly which model number of iPhone you're looking at. Now, these are super handy, especially if you're buying secondhand or used iPhones, especially if you're in a secondhand shop or buying from a private seller because you're gonna be able to identify exactly which model of iPhone you're looking at. Now, unlike our iPads, we don't have the model number actually printed on our iPhones, but there is a link down in the description to show you how you can identify the model number on any iPhone. 
Let's click back and take a look at the rest of the buyer's guide. So what to look for? Well, use the chart above to find the right iPhone for you. We just did that, so we showed you that in this video. Screen size, do you want a smaller screen like the standard iPhones, or do you want a larger screen like the Plus or the Max models? That's entirely up to you. Bigger screens are better if you've got bit of bigger fingers because you can tap on the screen a lot more easily. What about storage? Well, at least 32 gigabytes, as I recommended. 64 or 128 is better if your budget can stretch. Speed, processor, memory, the more and the faster, the better. The best that you can afford is what you should be going for. And connections, do you want a headphone jack and a lightning port? So all of your iPhones are gonna have a lightning port, but only up to those 6S and SE are gonna have a headphone jack. So if that's important to you, keep that in mind. Now, as mentioned before, we've got a link here for an eBay search for iPhones. So you can jump in there and search for secondhand or used iPhones. I've also got all of my recommended iPhones here with links to Amazon where you can actually check these out. And these are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, they'll break off a little chunk and send it my way. But here are all of the different iPhones that run iOS 13, everything from the iPhone 6S right up to the brand new at this stage in November 2019, iPhone 11 Pro. So you can check those out right here at studiolivetoday.com slash iPhone. I hope that makes your next iPhone buying decision that much easier. If you're looking to buy an iPad, there's another video linked right down below and in the description, which you can check out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.